Hi, readers and writers. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Today, we will be setting purpose, reading our new engagement text and our new decodable reader. Materials. Let's get our thinking caps on. Are you ready? Here are today's learning targets. Using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about the story, I look out. I can read high frequency words and words that don't play fair. And finally, I can read the decodable text, I look out. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what you've learned. Read aloud. Settle in and listen as I read aloud our story. I look out. When I've finished reading, I'll ask you some questions about what you've heard. Here it is. I sit on my soft couch. But what is that sound? I look out my front window. I look all around. It is the loud sound of the wind as it rustles through the trees. I look up at the clouds and count them as they move through the sky. The wind gusts and the dust swirls through the air. The leaves from the tree blow around in a spiral. I look at the tree and I see a nest on a branch. A bird built that nest using sticks and leaves. The bird even used a string. I can see the string swirling in the wind. I look down the hill. The crafty fox hunts by the pond. He pounces on a mouse in the grass but the mouse escapes and runs away fast. As I look out, I feel a small bug on my neck. I swat at it with my hand. Ouch, I think it bit me. Maybe it was a gnat or a mosquito. What a pest. I hear one last gust of wind, and the fox is off to his hole in the ground. The clouds have gone past. The sun is out, and the wind is at rest. I go back to my soft couch, and I sit down. There is not a sound. As you think about this story, Go ahead and retell the events. Think about what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Question and answer. What a great story. Let's talk about it together. The first question is, what was loud in the story? Mm-hmm, the wind was loud, it was gusting. What does the word pounce mean in the story? Mm-hmm, a pounce is a jump. So if it's pouncing on something, it's jumping on something. How does the wind change from the beginning of the story to the end of the story. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, the wind was so loud and it went in a gust. And at the end, things were calm and the author said that they did not hear a single sound. Transition song. Now it's time to learn high frequency words together. It's time to think about words readers use a lot. Word 
work. Let's take a peek at this first high frequency word together. It plays fair, so we can tap it out. Listen closely. Ink. Think. Did you hear that digraph th at the beginning? And then after that middle vowel, the short i, there's an ending blend. Ink. It's kind of fun to say. Try it with me. Ink. Here is another high frequency word that we will be working with. This word is some. Take a close look and say it with me. Some. Read aloud. This book, I Look Out, is based on the story that I read to you earlier. But this version of the story has words that you can read. Some are high frequency word and some you can tap out. Today, as we read this story together, I want you to be on the lookout for words that have the vowel team OU. That says ow. Can you see one in the cover of the story? There's an OU vowel team in the word out. As I read, you can join me and then we'll talk about the words you find. The sound of the wind is loud. I get up from the couch and I look out. What words with the vowel team OU did you spot? Hmm, sound, loud, couch, and there's one more. Mm-hmm, out. The sun is out with some clouds. That's right, out and clouds. You might also have noticed the high frequency word some. I count the clouds as they go past. Doesn't that sound so relaxing? Did you spot any words with the OU vowel team? Mm-hmm, count. And one more, clouds. The wind gusts, the dust is up. Were there any words with OU on this page? No. The nest is on the branch. I think I see a string in the nest. Were there any OU words on this page? That's right, there weren't. However, did you find the high frequency word think? There it is. The fox hunts by the pond. Ouch! A bug. The bug is a pest. Did you spot any words with the OU on this page? Mm-hmm. Ouch! I look out. A last gust of wind. The wind is at rest. Can you spot one final OU word on our last page? That's right, out. Great job reading along with me. Closing reflection. As you are reading today, what tools did you use to help you read the story, I Look Out? I hope that you are thinking about decoding words and spotting those high frequency words that we've been learning about this week. Go 
ahead and kiss your brain. We'll do some more work with words that have the OU, OW vowel team as we keep learning together. <laughs>